Hi! Welcome to City Farmer's video on how to harvest your worm bin. If you are composting using a bin like this, it's going to take about four to six months to convert your nice starting materials, your shredded newspaper, your leaves, and your fruit scraps. It will take about four to six months to go from that to finished compost. The time you'll know when it's good to harvest your bin, you're going to have half to two thirds of your bin full of dark rich soil. At that point, it is really important to separate your worms from the compost they have created because otherwise, leaving your worms in finished compost for too long could actually lead to a bit of a toxic environment for them. So it's important to get rid of that nice completed compost and start with new fresh bedding. So let's tip up this bin to show you how this is just over half full and this is nice rich compost that is ready to be harvested. So it's really important to let your worms kind of assist in the process of separating themselves from the compost to make your job a bit easier. A great way to do that is to not feed them for three weeks in a row. So normally you're feeding them in a different corner each week. So now you're going to not feed them for three weeks. And now during this fourth week, you're going to place new food on one half of the bin only, and then please cover with fresh bedding. It's very important. You're then going to wait two to three weeks to allow the worms to migrate over to that one side. So after that point, most of them will be on the fresh side and you're then able to harvest the compost from the other side. So not all worms will follow kind of the behavior you're encouraging. So you will have to take a few extra steps. You could just simply put them into a plastic bag and put the whole, sorry, put the, all the compost into a plastic bag, but there will still be some worms that remain. So Farhat Khan, a worm shop instructor at the garden, has summarized some really important steps to take to separate the worms from the compost. So I'll give you an example of how you would do that. So imagine that we had nice sun here on this plastic bag here. What you're going to do is you're going to take a few handfuls of soil and you're going to place it on the plastic here. So you could of course use gardening gloves, but I'll just go with my hands here. So you're gonna make kind of cone-shaped piles here. And so we're gonna use the fact that the worms are extremely afraid of the light and because it's dangerous, because they might dry out. And you're gonna make nice cone-shaped piles here on the plastic. So imagining that there's nice sun, the worms are going to be going from the top part of the pile and slowly going downwards. So what you're going to do is wait about 10 minutes and during that time, the worms are going to crawl from the top of each pile. Let's say we had about almost about 10 piles if you make small piles. And they're going to slowly come downwards. So what you're going to then do is take off about two to three inches of soil from the top of each cone. So the worms are moving downwards. So you're going to go ahead, after you wait about 10 minutes, move the top of each pile. It should pretty much be worm free. Take out any stragglers that remain and place that into a separate container. And that's finished compost ready to be used. And then you're gonna wait another 10 minutes or so and continue that process until you're at the very base of each pile. And now all of the worms should be on that plastic bag itself. So that's a great way to separate your worms from the compost. Now at that point, it's really important to create bedding anew. So what you're gonna do is let's say you could even start with your own bin. So you can create your own bin very inexpensively by getting a Rubbermaid container such as this and drilling holes along the sides of the bin to let air to come in and also very importantly at the base of the bin to allow extra water to drain out. So from that point onwards you can make really cheap bedding using torn up newspaper, dried leaves, cardboard, assortment of brown materials and also ordering red regular worms. So what I'm going to show you here is an order we have recently made and you would need for a bin this size, you need about a half pound of worms or just under that for a bin of this size here. So you can see these worms are ready to go to work for you. And red regular worms are the ideal worms for a bin of this size. So again, a half pound of worms for a bin about the size of that black container. So I'll give you guys hopefully a better view. Hopefully you can see how much, just how many there are in this container. And so these guys definitely deserve new fresh bedding after all the work they've done for you and created all that nice compost. 
So if you have any further questions about harvesting or about how to get worms and any questions about constructing a bin of your own, definitely take a look at our website at cityfarmer.org or call the hotline for more information.